Well, good morning, everyone. That's eight o'clock, so we'll commence uh, the act of morning prayer. The Lord be with you. Rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and relents over disaster. Let's pray. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make your face shine upon us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your ways be known on the earth, your saving power among the nations. Christ, have mercy. You, Lord, have made known your salvation and reveal your justice in the sight of the nations. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We offer the prayer Christ commended. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We reach in the Word of God for morning prayer, the first book of Samuel. And this is where we see the transition from the judges ruling uh, the Holy Land to the kings. And one short reflection on Israel's very first king, King Saul, the 13th chapter, reading from verse 8. Saul waited seven days the time appointed by Samuel, but Samuel did not come to Gilgal, and the people were scattering from him. So Saul said, bring the burnt offering here to me and the peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. As soon as he had finished offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him and greet him. And Samuel said, What have you done? And Saul said, When I saw that the people were scattering from me, and that you did not come within the days appointed, and that the Philistines had mustered at Michmash, I said, Now the Philistines will come down against me at Gilgal, and I have not sought the favor of the Lord. So I forced myself and offered the burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, You have done foolishly. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the words of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in God's sight through Christ, our rock and redeemer. Amen. Saul, here's something all of us will be familiar with. I don't have one on at the moment, but just imagine that I did. Most do. For me right now, it would be like that. Of course, people with phones are able to scroll through and what they'll do, checking the time, checking the time, checking the time. Why are we checking the time? Usually we're checking the time because we're clock watching, checking the time at a train station, waiting to see the platform from which the train will be departing, checking the time at the notice board inside an airport looking to see when the, the gate is open and the boarding uh, commencing sign appears. We're constantly checking the time because in our minds we usually tell ourselves what we're doing in that in-between period is actually wasting time. Time will be spent well 
when that gate gets opened and I can get to that plane. And anybody who's ever flown a budget airline will know just how keen human beings are to stampede onto a plane once that gate sign says, boarding gate 10, now open. And it's the same for a train. Why are people so bad at waiting, generally? So, bad at waiting. I need to get this uh, sacrifice offered. Samuel's not here. I'll take the matter into my own hands. I need to get to that moment when the sacrifice will be offered. And Samuel says to King Saul, you've done foolishly on that. Well, here I hope is a piece of useful advice for us all to make us better at waiting. I often feel had Adam and Eve waited, a time would have come when they would have had access to every part of the garden. And of course, our affliction in recent months has been a huge national, if not international, exercise in waiting. One of the best practices I find to help me with waiting and to avoid being anything like King Saul is to remind yourself that waiting is not wasting. That waiting should be preparing. I'm not wasting time waiting for the next event to happen when the clock strikes. I'm preparing for the moment when the clock strikes. I'm preparing for when the boarding gate appears. I'm preparing for when the train says platform eight. I'm preparing for when that phone rings and I get to speak to that person. I'm preparing for the time when masks can be taken off. I'm preparing for the time when we can meet together in one another's homes as freely as we once did. In between time, in between events, can be viewed two ways. Either a time of waste or a time of preparation. Had Saul waited properly and changed his wasting of time into his preparing of time and preparing for Samuel praying and exercising patience, then when the prophet came to Saul, he would not have said, you've done foolishly. He would have said, well done, good and faithful servant. Where today will we be called to serve by waiting? Amen, and thanks be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We offer a prayer of intercession. Let's pray. Guide the leaders of the nations into the ways of peace and justice, unity and common purpose in the fight against this pestilence. Hear us, good Lord. Guard and strengthen Elizabeth, your servant, our Queen, that she may put her trust in you and seek your honour and glory. Hear us, good Lord. And you, the High Court of Parliament and all the ministers of the Crown with wisdom and understanding. Hear us, good Lord. Bless those who administer the law that they may uphold justice, honesty and truth. Hear us, good Lord. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all creation, for the saving health of humans made in your image. Yeah. Hear us, good Lord. Bless and keep all your people. Bring your joy into all families. Strengthen and deliver those in childbirth. Watch over children and guide the young. Bring reconciliation to those in discord and peace to those in strength. Hear us, good Lord. We offer Psalm 136 to close. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the God of gods. 
Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. Would you please stand? Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.